हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फूड फॉर किड्स तो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन वेरी ब्यूटीफुल प्रोजेक्ट विच इज पिंग पॉन्ग गेम ओके तो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन इफ यू वांट लेटेस्ट वीडियो ओके सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर टुडेस प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस इज द प्रोजेक्ट विच इज पिंग पॉन्ग गेम so what i will do first i will run this project i will show you so i will run your project you need to just click on flag okay see so if ball will touch to this paddle green color paddle you will score a point okay but by mistake if your ball will touch to this red line what will happen game will stop okay so this is our today's project so here we have a three sprite first we have a ball we have a paddle which is this green color and we have one line which is this red line okay so if line if this line will touch to your ball everything will stop and if you want you can select one backdrop so this is our ping pong game okay so now let's start this game so how you will take you scratch how you will open your scratch you need to just search for scratch so you will get scratch.mit.edu and first we need to click on the create button okay so this is our first step how you will create your project okay after that what we want here we want to add some sprite and we want to add some backdrops okay so how we will add that so first i will delete this right after that how you will add your backdrop we need to just click here which is choose a backdrop so whatever backdrop you want for your ping pong game you need to first select that suppose i want this neon tunnel or is whatever backdrop you want you can select that okay suppose if we want this strips even we can take that okay so this is our second step in the first step you need to take one new project in the second step you have to add some backdrops okay after that how you will add a sprite as you can see uh, we have a choose a sprite option click on that and whatever sprite you want you need to select suppose i want ball so i will get a ball after that if you want to create your paddle so what you can do instead of choose a sprite we will click on a paint option and whatever color you want for your paddle suppose i want blue color so take that blue and create one paddle like this so this is my paddle okay we can rename this paddle after that what is our third step we want one red line okay so instead of choose a sprite what we can do we need to again click on this paint option and now we want one red color line okay so whatever color you want you can take that like this so where you want to put this line suppose here so as you can see we have a three sprites we have ball we have paddle and we will rename it to line so we have our third sprite which is line okay so in this way we can add our backdrop and we can add our sprites now how we will give the instruction because see without instruction it will not work so how you will give your instruction you need to click on this ball so once you will click on the ball so what will happen now so always we will start from the event okay event means we want to perform any action okay so click on event take this when flag is clicked so this is our first after that suppose i want initially i want this ball here okay 
or is suppose here. So what is position of this ball? In X position, it is 20. In Y position, it is 159. So how you will fix this ball? You need to just go to motion, take this, go to X and Y. By mistakenly, if I will take my ball here, if I will run, you will get your ball here. So this is a fixed position of the ball. After that, what angle you want, okay? So for that, we have a point in direction. So instead of 90, suppose if I want this angle, so you can take it 45 minutes. According to your choice, you can define your angle, okay? After that, I want to move this ball at any position, right? And uh, what we want, we want that moving ball continuously, again and again. So if you want anything continuously for that, you need to take this forever. Forever means if you want anything continuously again and again, okay? And here we want to move our ball. So we will take this 10 step. And if there will be edge, so again we see. In scratch, we have this edges, four edge we have. So first, second, third, fourth, okay? So suppose if we want, ball will return. So what will happen? You need to put edge. So where you will get edge? Inside your motion, you will get your edge. Now see what will happen? See perfectly, your ball is moving. See? By 45 angle. Okay, so this is our first thing. After that, what we want? Again, when flag is clipped, so this is our first coding step. After that, what is our second logic? Again, when flag is clipped, okay? So what we want? If ball will touch to this red color, so what will happen, okay? So again, we will take that into the forever because we want that continuously. Now we will check a condition. If, okay. So what is the condition? If ball will touch to this red color. So where you will get that? Inside your sensing, touching color. But as you can see here, we have a green. So how we will take a red? Click on this. Click on this paint option. So what will happen? You will get your red color. So what will happen if your ball will touch to this red color? So we want to increase our score. Okay. So how we will increase that and how we will create a score? So score is our variable. Means say we want to store a score, right? So where you will get that? In a variable. We need to just click on make a variable, write down the name score, click on OK. So you will get a score. So we want to change the score by one. Okay, means we want to increase that. So instead of my variable, we will take a score by one. If you want to increase your score by two, so instead of one, we can take a but what will happen if ball will touch to this red color, we want to reduce the score, right? So for that, we will take a minus one, okay? After that, whatever sound you want, suppose here you can add the sound also. So suppose I want this pop sound. Instead of pop, if you want to add other sounds, you need to just click on the sound tab, click on choose a sound, Whatever sound you want. Suppose if I want this, click on that. You will get your sound here. I can come to your coding part. Instead of this pop, we will take else pass. Okay. Now see, you will get sound. See, when ball touching to the red color, we are getting the sound. So this is our second part for the ball, okay? After that, what third thing we want? Like when flag is clicked. So initially, we want the score zero, right? Initially, we want the score zero. So where you will get inside your variable, we have a set score. So 
Now, as you can see, we have minus 29. If I will click that, you will get a zero. Okay. Then, so if this will touch to the paddle, if your ball will touch to the paddle, we want to increase the score. So how we will do that? Save. You need to just go to the control. Take this forever. Because we want that continuously. And we want to give some condition. If ball will touch to your paddle, okay? So where you will get that? Inside the sensing, we will take this. But instead of mouse pointer, we will take paddle. It means when ball will touch to this paddle, so what will happen? Even you can change your color, ball color. So where you will go? In the looks, you will get your change color. Okay. So we can change a color effect. After that, if you want to start a sound, even you can start a sound also. Means whatever you want, you can do. Okay. So see, we started the sound also. After one second, we want to increase the score also. So what will happen? Where you will get your score and where you will get your weight. So in the control, we have a wait one second. And then we will change the score. So in the variable, you will get your change score by one. But instead of my variable, we will take a score. So this is our third point for the ball. Okay. After that, what will happen? Now we will do for our paddle. Okay. So for the paddle, what we have to do now? What is the use of this paddle? Pa paddle will move with the help of our mouse pointer. Okay, so how we will do that? Again, we will add the event here. When flag is clicked. So again, we want this continuously. So we will take a forever. And it will follow our mouse. So we have a go to mouse pointer. So you need to just select that. So where is that? Inside the motion, you will get that, okay? Instead of random position, we will take a mouse pointer, okay? And after that, suppose we want to stop this game. So how you will stop that? Again, we will take the event when flag is clicked. So how many minutes you want to play this? How much minute you want to play this game? Suppose I want to play this only for three minutes. So what you can do, you need to just wait. In a three minute, how many seconds we have? In a one minute, we have a 60. So 60 multiplied by three, you will get 180. And then you can just broadcast one message here. Like, we want to stop this game now. So you can broadcast this message. But where you will receive this message? Inside your ball. Means when you will receive message one, we want to stop everything. Means we want to stop this game. So as you can see, we completed two parts. The first part is your ball. The second part is the pattern. Okay. Now only uh, we have a line. So what is the use of line? If line will touch to your ball, so if you want, you can stop the game. So this is only logic we will use in the line. So again, we will start from when flag is clicked. Okay. So when flag is clicked. So we want that continuously. So again, we will take a forever. Okay. Now, if your Line will touch to your ball. So again, you need to take this if condition. Okay. If it will touch to your ball. So where you will get touch part inside the same thing. But instead of mouse pointer, we will take a ball. So what will happen? We want to stop everything. So you need to just go to the control. Take stop all. See? Now, if I will run, see, now your game will stop. So 
so as you can see this line uh, this paddle is following our mouse see okay and as you can see the ball color is also changing right okay so like that we can create our ping pong game and the next part how you will rename your project so instead of untitled remove this we need to write ping pong okay and the next part how you will share this project so you need to just click on share button copy the link and just copy this link and paste wherever you want okay and if you want you can just write down the notes you can just write down the instructions means whatever you want you can put here so like this we can create our ping pong game okay so please like share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon if you want more videos okay and in a comment box whatever video you want just mention that name so in the next video you will get that okay so thank you so much everyone have a great day bye see you soon okay bye bye